Once I've logged into the board maker editor, I hit new. Then once all the templates and options load, I can come over here and choose blank portrait and create. I choose portrait because I'm going to print on a regular piece of paper. I pick a button and then I draw the button however big I want it to be. Most times I go about one and a half inch by one and a half inch. Then I come up here to spray. After spray is selected, you click and hold inside of this button and then drag it out to add as many more buttons as you'd like. Now I click back in the first box and I type in what I'd like. And then I hit enter or return on my keyboard and what whatever word I've typed onto that button, it will open sig uh, symbols that match that word and I can choose one and then it automatically moves to the next box. And I can keep going. Adding on as many symbols as I need. Now let's say you've made a mistake. In most editing programs, you double click to fix something. Don't think of it that way in Board Maker. Just click back on the one you'd like to change and just start typing again. You don't have to erase it. You don't have to double click. Just same as if it was blank. Single click and then enter. And there you go, you can keep creating as many symbols as you need. If you need another page, you can hit new page if you want, or you can also come up to these three dots and duplicate your page so that you don't have to start over from scratch. You can also go into the page setup and change settings in here to more closely match what you're doing. You can also go into your user settings and in here, one thing to pay attention to is this grid spacing and spray spacing. Spray spacing would make your buttons be closer or further apart, depending on the numbers you put in here. I have mine set to zero so that when I print them out, I can just cut right on the line and cut the symbols out. If you wanted your borders to remain visible, you might want to increase that spray spacing to be a little bit bigger so that you have some white space around each of your buttons. So there you go, that is a quick and easy way to create symbols you might need in BoardMaker.